Roby Helm back with you from Flemington Speedway in Flemington, New Jersey. The Engine Magic 100 for the Hooters Cup late models. We are under a caution period after a tangle involving Joe Jarowitz out of Pasectony Way, New Jersey, and Marilyn McCurry out of Haines City, Florida in the 57 car. So the field getting set for the restart. Mark Bashardi alongside and Mark, we want to say hello to a good friend of ours that runs with the Hooters Cup Series, and he's a little bit under the weather. He's one of the top drivers in the point standings, and that's uh, Daniel Keene out of Tampa, Florida, who drives the number five car. He's won a race this season on the Hooters Cup Tour. A little bit under the weather and couldn't be here tonight. Right, Daniel Daniel's at home having some tests performed on him right now. He can't be at the racetrack. Daniel's a joy to watch race, and he's fun to be around in the pits. He helps every other driver in the pits. Everybody's going to miss him here tonight. Well, that certainly is right. As uh, Daniel, we miss you. Get well and get back out here in a hurry. Daniel Keene, who drives the number five uh, R.W. Harris Incorporated Chevrolet Monte Carlo for uh, Victor and Robin Powell out of Florida. And he was in the top of the point standing, so we hope that uh, he can get back out here and get back into that point fight. Once again, under caution, working lap number 30 of a scheduled 100 here for the Hooters Cup light models on the point. Mario Gosselin in car number 10 out of Lake Wales, Florida. In the second spot, it'll be the number 92 car, the Dodge of Dick Anderson in the third spot. It'll be Mike Garvey in car number 91. And one car that I've been looking at trying to work its way up through the pack is a guy that looks strong in practice. He started 13th, and I'm talking about the number 98 car, the blue car there in your picture, Jody Ridley, a six-time national late model champion. And he's running one of the few Fords that we're seeing on this circuit as it looks like it's mostly predominantly dominated by Chevrolet Monte Carlos. Jody's had a lot of success over the years. Like you say, he's been national champion several times. He's been to Winston Cup. He's won on Winston Cup. But he's having a bad year this year, and nothing would suit him better than to have a good finish here tonight and maybe get some momentum going into the next few races. And the next race, uh, for those of you that follow the Hooters Cup Trail, will be coming up on Friday night, August the 11th, from 411 Motor Speedway, located right outside of Knoxville, Tennessee. And that's a track that Jody Ridley has been to before. And I know that everybody in East Tennessee is looking forward to seeing the Hooters Cup late models up there as the field now forming up for the restart here at Flemington, New Jersey. Going back to green flag action with Mario Gosselin out in front. Dick Anderson in second. Mike Harvey in third. Larry Raines, the pole sitter, riding in fourth with Mark Bichardi. It looks like it's been mostly those top three cars pulling away from Reigns with Mario Gosselin out in front, Dick Anderson in second, and Mike Harvey in third. Well, all three of those cars told me during the, the weekend that they love this racetrack. It was hard to get used to it first. I think the Anderson had some problems last night. They had to change that motor this morning. So he's, he's in a motor that he's not used to. He didn't hardly get any practice time on it. And now we've got Anderson trying to work the underside of Goslin and complete the move. He has been looking for an opportunity where Goslin looked like with cold tires, his car pushing up on the high side. As we've got caution on the speedway, a big pileup in turn number three in the short shoot between turns three and four and the zero six car up on top of the 11 car looks like we've got about five cars involved up there mark well that's a bad scene for the locals there's five of those cars are all local drivers they all expect it to go we're going to go to replay now this ought to be exciting boy it's sure one of those cars involved the zero six car and we've got the 35 car. Here we go. We've got it. We got it in instant uh, it replay. It looks like the 11 car got loose. It takes everybody with him. The 10 car, the 9 car. And we'll see the foam in action right here. Bill Tinsman in the 11 car. In the 9 car of Charlie Thon Jr. And there's the 06 car. No place to go. As he went up over the top, now the 26 car also getting a piece of that action. Well, it's too bad for the locals here tonight. If that was a local feature, they'd almost have to call the race because of all the cars that are involved in it. Every one of these guys felt that they could have a good night here tonight, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. One thing we saw in that, that it looked like one car was trying to get to the inside of the 11 car, and you were talking about with these two-barrel carburetors, they prefer the outside groove. Right, they like to float the car up to the corners to keep their foot in the throttle. The 
they told me that if they have to let out more than they're used to, as if coming up behind another car and having to back off, they lose all the momentum, and it takes two to three laps to get the momentum back. So it was unusual to see one of the locals trying to go underneath of another car. Don Davis Jr. out of Gainesville, Georgia, also involved in that. So looks like they had a little Southern hospitality mixed in there with the local guys. And he came out on top, literally. Yeah, and there you see the wrecker lifting up Davis's car, the 06 car, as that car is sitting on top of the number 11 machine. And we see a lot of drivers standing around the wreck, just standing looking. So they all must be all right. You love to see that. Bill Tinsman, the driver of the 11 car out of French Town, New Jersey, involved in that. We also had the 110 car involved, Russ France, out of Coplay, Pennsylvania. So that's just some of the drivers involved in that massive tangle up in the short shoe between three and four. We're going to take another break, and we'll be right back with more from Plumington, New Jersey. alongside we are under caution after a spectacular multi-car accident on the short shoot between turns three and four here in the 100 lap Hooters Cup late model event we have 34 laps in the books working lap number 35 with Mario Gosselin your leader in car number 10 we are under caution for the incident that you are about to see on instant replay and it was a wild one Going into turn number three, the 11 car gets tapped from behind, and Bill Tinsman out of Frenchtown, New Jersey, spins that car, along with the number 110 car, a Russ France, the red car on the inside. They collected the number nine automobile, and then you will see the 06 car, Don Davis Jr., out of Georgia with no place to go. And Davis comes into the two cars spinning in front of him, and he goes up and over everybody. And Mark Fischardi, as you said, he ended up on top of that deal. Right. And what's amazing, some of these cars that were in this wreck are back out on the racetrack. The nine car is back out. There you see one of your point leaders here locally, number 35, Clyde Cox involved in it. The, the locals took a beating in that crash. Well, they sure did. And Cox just ran out of room as he was trying to get between the 11 and the 110 car and just ran out of room. So when they come back around this time, Tony Boswell will give them the signal with a furled green flag, one lap to go. And with the track cleared in the area between turns three and four, again, this is a square racetrack. There are four corners and four straightaways. So Mario Gosselin, your race leader in car number 10, another outstanding run for this young driver. He's the defending champion of the United Stock Car Alliance Series down in Florida. And this year is pretty much his first year of running nationally with the Hooters Cup Series. Right. He never really traveled outside the state of Florida. He had all the tracks pretty much covered in Florida. He learned them real quick. Now he's trying to do it all over the eastern side of the United States. And you talk about drivers that know Florida tracks. The king of the Florida short tracks, Dick Anderson, running in the second spot in car number 92. But he's no stranger to Flemington Speedway. He raced here in a modified when the track was dirt before they paved it in 1992. He says it's been 25 years since he's been to this racetrack, but he has some fond memories of coming up here and racing on the dirt. Mike Garvey, the point leader in the Hooters Cup late model series, car number 91, the Maccabee contractor, Chevrolet Monte Carlo running in the third spot. So you have a Mopar running in second, the Dodge Avenger, a Dick Anderson in a Chevrolet Monte Carlo series there with Mario Gosselin out in front. Mike Garvey in third as we go back to green flag action. Anderson had just passed Gosselin for the lead before the caution flag came out. And in a situation like we had in the Formula Cup race earlier this evening, they go back to the last completed lap for scoring purposes. So that put Anderson back in behind Gosselin for the restart. And we just had a little bit of contact between Anderson and Gosselin, which allowed Mike Garvey to move back up into this break. And Anderson again trying to work that inside groove. He's got the nose of the Avenger underneath Gosselin. Gosselin gets a push up on the high side. And it looks like Garvey's going to try to work underneath as well. Right, he's caught up high. The car's pushing. It doesn't like, the car does not like the racetrack up there. And he just pushes out of the way. Now he's back in third in one lap. 